When Maria von Trapp wrote her autobiography in 1949, little could she have imagined that her life story would be turned into two German-language films, a smash hit Broadway musical written by Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein, starring the first lady of musical comedy, Mary Martin, and finally, in the hands of award-winning screenwriter Ernest Lehman and Oscar-winning director Robert Wise, the most popular and beloved movie musical of all time, The Sound of Music. When Julie Andrews and a somewhat reluctant Christopher Plummer were signed to star in the movie, both were rather unknown on film. Julie Andrews' first film, Mary Poppins, had yet to be released, and Plummer had appeared briefly in only three films. Together, and with seven child actors chosen from hundreds of auditioning youngsters, they made movie history. Filmed at the tail end of the Golden Age Hollywood studio system, The Sound of Music utilized the services of the best creative personnel in the business. Cinematographer Ted McCord, editor William Reynolds, and Oscar-winning costume designer Dorothy Jeekins. Said Julie Andrews of the wedding dress Jeekins designed for the film, I've never felt more beautiful before or since. Academy Award-winning production designer Boris Levin recreated the world of Maria von Trapp's Nonberg Abbey on a Hollywood soundstage, employing the meticulous craftsmanship that earned him industry accolades and the praise of Julie Andrews. Quote, those cobblestones underfoot felt exactly like the real thing. Utilizing the majority of Rodgers and Hammerstein's award-winning score, but with the addition of two new songs written by Rodgers expressly for the film, the exuberant I Have Confidence and the wistful Something Good, the film's soundtrack has gone on to sell an astonishing 20 million copies. From the infectious lonely goat herd to the innocent romanticism of 16 going on 17, the Rodgers and Hammerstein score may well have contained more hit songs than any other film musical in history. Amidst all of these hit songs, the musical centerpiece of the film became the eight-minute-long Do Re Mi montage, starring Julie Andrews, the Seven Children, and the city of Salzburg. To this day, 50 years later, tourists flock to the Salzburg locations utilized in the number to recreate their own version of the song in front of the now iconic landmarks. Even Maria von Trapp herself returned to Salzburg to take part in the film, appearing in a brief cameo during the I Have Confidence number. Said Maria after working through seven takes of her scene, I've made my film debut and retired from screen acting all in one day. No one involved in the film had any idea during the filming or at the March 2nd, 1965 world premiere that the movie would turn out to be an international phenomenon, a hit around the globe that has lived on in theater reissues, television broadcasts, record-setting DVD sales, and even sing-along screenings at the Hollywood Bowl. Fifty years later, the film's high spirits and sense of family love live on in the enduring friendships amongst the screen children Christopher Plummer and Julie Andrews. Said Julie Andrews to Christopher Plummer in a classic bit of understatement, I guess we did do something rather good. This is Tom Santopietro, author of the just published book, The Sound of Music Story.